So everyone in the class will be visiting the secondlife.com website. Um, you'll need to create a, an avatar. So to do that, you will join the site um, where it says join now, the big orange button. And you'll create your avatar. And part of the process is downloading the software. And what you're downloading is actually um, something called Viewer 3 if you're on Windows. And if you're on a Mac, I would suggest not downloading Viewer 3. I would actually um, download Phoenix, um, which works better on uh, Leopard or Snow Leopard. Um, and currently there isn't uh, a viewer that is supported um, for Macs that are using um, the latest operating system, Lion. Okay, so I'm on a Mac, so we're going to actually download uh, Phoenix. Okay, it's one of the alternate viewers. Okay, so let's join now. Click on join now. can actually select from a number of avatars. There's a random view. If you'd like to check one, select one from here. Uh, people view, animals, my favorite robots, um, or vehicles. Take your pick. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go back to robots and select this character here. Oops. Okay, so choose the avatar. Um, we'll need to give him a name. You can use, these days most people are just choosing one name. Um, let's, you could also try two names, but um, I'm going to pick, let's see, informatics with two X's at the end. Um, check availability. That's available. Next step, let's put in his email address. Okay, happen to have one here. Born January 1st, 19. When was I born? 1915. Okay, password. Let's pick one that we'll remember. Security question. Take your pick. Okay, your favorite vacation spot. And create an account. Okay, we can have a free account, and that's what we're going to choose, or the premium account, which is anywhere from $6 to $9 a month, depending on how you pay it. And there are reasons why you might want to have that to own land. Um, you get money each month, um, Linden dollars, um, a location to live in, like a house. So take your pick, but I'm going to suggest for today, free. Free sounds good. Okay, so your account is activated, your avatar is waiting for you. So it's actually downloading the software for me because it recognizes that I'm on a Mac and it's giving me the Viewer 3 software. I can see here Second Life 3.03. .03. This is the latest uh, software available. It actually has trouble on my operating system with voice. So um, I'm going to suggest that we only use Viewer 3 if we're on Windows. Okay, for anyone on a Mac, we'll download a different viewer. It just has a different interface. Um, and it is called, let me open up a page here. OK, 
Okay, let's scroll down. The download Second Life page is at the bottom here. We can click on that. This is what automatically downloaded when I created my account. Um, there are other viewers that you can use. This is supposed to run on Windows, Linux, or Mac. So, um, other viewers, there's a beta viewer that has a lot of new features in it. There's a viewer, a mesh viewer for uploading 3D, um, actually 3D objects. Okay, take that back. And more viewers at the bottom. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. It tells us that we can look at um, some of the alternate viewers here um, on the Second Life Wiki. So scroll to the bottom and third party viewers, third party viewer directory. Click on that. Okay, we're in the wiki which is wiki.secondlife.com. It's a big knowledge database. Uh, anything you want to know about Second Life, you'll find here, um, written by users of the environment. So the viewer list here, this is the third party viewer list. So these are built open source and built by other people. Um, I'm going to click on Phoenix. This is the one I want. Phoenix for Mac. OK. Um, I guess this is it. Not. <laughs> okay, go down here. Third party viewer directory, Phoenix, where we already were. Homepage, source code, downloads. Okay. Phoenix viewer. Okay, Windows, Mac. They're all in beta, um, those top ones. There are older versions. The earlier version. I'm going to actually download the beta, this top one here, for Mac. OK, that's downloading for me. Okay, so here it is. It, um, it's asking us to drag the software, which is Firestorm Beta Mesh dot app here. Um, to, is it dot app? Does it make sense? It's asking us to drag it into our. applications folder. So here is my finder on the Mac. I'm going to drag this software into the applications folder. I actually already have it there, but I'm going to overwrite that just to show you the whole process. Okay. Close out these windows. And here's my software. I'll actually put that on my I'll put that down below for a shortcut. Okay, let's close.
close out this stuff and get rid of a few of these windows. Hey, there I am again, informatics. So I'm opening my viewer, which is the new version of the Phoenix viewer that we're going to use here on the Mac. Okay, um, so Informatics is my first name. Um, if you have only one name, you need to write in resident for your last name. Okay, if you've chosen two names or if you have an old account, like my old one might be HVX and then last name Silverstar, put, put them in. But if you only have one name, remember, you need to type in resident in the last name. And in some cases, you'll see um, space to put informatics and resident if it just says name. If there's only one entry space for your name, just put them both in with a space. Okay, password. And grid second life. The other options are the beta or local one on your own computer. So we're going to go to second life and we'll go to I'll go to Welcome Island. I don't think I need to type anything there, but we'll just give that a go. So informatics resident. Um, let's log in. Okay, we're now getting the terms of service. You have to agree to this, but it's actually a pretty good read, especially if you're a law student and or a librarian. There's a section on intellectual property, copy, discussions of copyright, etc. So it's it's worth a quick scroll through and read any areas that you've got an interest in, okay? And you'll need to agree to the terms of service for this and use a license agreement, okay? Let's say yes. And it's telling us here, phoenixviewer.com is a website, um, a blog that details updates on the um, viewer. So we're, again, we're using Phoenix Viewer 1.5.2. So what we have here. So this one isn't the beta. Um, let's look. Okay. Okay, we can start the tutorial here. This is a different tutorial than you'll see in the Viewer Three. If you down, if you're on Windows and downloaded the Viewer Three, so you can click on Begin, and it tells us that we move using our keys, so our arrow keys. I'm actually flying, so I'm going to click that stop flying button to stop flying. Okay, so this is how we move backwards and forwards. Okay, flying tells us to hit the fly button below. Wonder why that's not working. And changing the view, if you'd like to zoom in on something, just click the alt button and your left mouse button. So if we'd like to take a better look at this gentleman's face here, you can zoom in on something. Also, you'll see this navigation bar here for what also has a zoom. And it allows you to pan and orbit as well. So if you pick the just do an escape so I can see my avatar there. If I do the three o'clock here, it will spin me around. 
I can actually zoom in. Take a look at myself here. And we can also pan. Okay. So you can leave that available. That actually is under the view. So view camera controls. Okay. That's where that is. So if you close it, you can just open it up again. View camera controls. Okay. Press escape button to find myself again. Okay, let's go to the next option here, which is chatting with others. Okay, in this case we click on the communicate button. We can chat. If we want to talk to someone. Oh, here's someone. Let's say, um, hi there. And she's saying hi. <laughs> I imagine. And um, is this your first day? I'll ask her. Oh, <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> okay, I don't think so. I think I'll go away. Okay, so let's keep going, okay? And you have the opportunity to practice your 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 skills here. Um, again, just keep walking through and try out changing appearance. So you can right click on yourself and do okay you can right click profile so this is me informatics you can fill in your profile okay let's go to the next and um, the other one was appearance here, appearance. Uh, you're editing, your, and we have a few tips up here. So, if I wanted to be taller, etc., I could, or if I wanted to be much smaller, okay, if I wanted to be thinner or thicker, I could change that. mouth, I could change my lips. I see I don't have any, so nothing's changing, so uh -huh, I guess I don't have lips. Okay, but you, uh, you see what I mean. You can make an awful lot of changes. So let's just save this. Save? Okay. Okay, so let's Take some time, practice, and follow these arrows. Keep walking. Oh, we can chat with the bird here. Here we can just click on. chat. This is actually the best place to do it. Just hit, click that little chat button at the end there. Um, hi there. Okay, now if I go to the far right here, um, this is play music. Play video if there are videos around you want to play. This I can raise and lower the sound. Uh, I can go to this next 
on here. If there are any speakers, anyone around me who's using voice, their names would be listed here. And I would be able to raise and lower their, their voice so that I could hear it better from where I'm standing, etc. If I want to talk, I'm going to actually go in, do f edit, preferences. I'm going to go to voice chat and just make sure I'm set up. from the avatar position, so when I'm standing next to the avatar. And let's see here, device settings. I actually have my headset on, so I've made sure it's selected in both input and output. I'm going to raise my voice here. So here's the input level. And apply OK. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Okay, I have more practice for zooming if I want. Did I walk the wrong way? I sure did. I think I'm going to fly. Using my arrow buttons to go forward. <laughs> this girl's running around too. I'm actually avoiding her, she's bothering me. So. Okay, here we're going to practice sitting. Tells us. We'll zoom in as everybody remember how to do that. Alt, left mouse button. Tells us to sit. You right click on, on an object like a chair and then select sit here. So let's do that. Let's try this seat. Right click, sit here. Ooh, pretty good. So, you know, the viewer knows I'm sitting, so if I want to stand up, I would just click Stand Up. You can sit anywhere that, on any object that, it, that you're allowed to sit on. So if someone made this poster and allowed people to sit on it, they would have selected that option. And it tells us there's no suitable surface to sit on. That's a shame. Let's see if there's, often there are places to sit. I guess it would be on this bridge. Well, that works. And let's sit on this. It's probably an animation ball, like a. Or on the fountain. Okay, I'll go back to where I am. <laughs> If you um, click on a person, you could actually follow them, and you don't want to be doing that. Okay, I'm going to stand up into the water. Is it water? Well, I don't hear water, but... Okay, was this the way out? I think so. Number five. I think this is the end. Oh, this is our flying. Okay. Okay, page up to go up. Let's do that. Where's my page up? Wow. Page down to go down. Nice and elegant like. I could also hit the fly button and use my arrow buttons. Whoops, I can turn around. I can bang into things. That's definitely what I'm doing there. Oops. Okay, good practice. I appear to be in this 
dome here. That's what I was banging into. So this is actually the island we're standing on. Let's see. Just zooming out. It's nighttime. I'm using the left, the alt button and the left mouse button. Very pretty. Okay. Um, so, stop flying. Okay, there's a lot more um, things to explore down here, such as our inventory. This was one of the things. Um, this is my current outfit that I'm wearing. You can change your outfits. Um, for this avatar, it comes with this wild, um, kind of like, <laughs> wild outfit, so I don't think I'll bother changing my clothes. But I could buy another avatar, or find a free avatar, and drag it onto my body, and I would actually then look like the new avatar. So there's lots of things to be done, lots, lots of things to explore here. Okay. Let's take a picture. Of myself. Let's see where snapshot. Oops, I see someone over there. And you can refresh person out of my picture and I can either mail it to someone but it will actually charge me so I would need to have some money up here on the right side in my um, Linden purse up here um, and to do that you'd have to um, either receive money from someone or um, upload some in via your credit card etc and you do that in the website at the Second Life website okay so let's save this to inventory, it'll charge me, so no, I think I'll save it to my hard drive. Um, save. Oh, lovely, okay. And this is off, informatics. Okay, so later on, when I want to I right click on here and go to my profile, if I want to add a picture here, I'll be able to upload the picture I I into my profile here and fill it in. So I, I can fill that in if I'd like to share anything about myself with people that I encounter. Okay, so let's keep going. This is our last stop, I believe, number six. So where do I want to go? Okay, now this is assuming I'm using Viewer 2, which I'm not. Or sorry, Viewer, this is the update, the Viewer 3. Um, so it suggests going to the destination guide, uh, etc. So. on my mini map then I can see myself moving on the map and I can see that there's somebody else two other people near me okay let's open our big map I can do this I'm on welcome island number 36 we can see there are a lot of welcome islands and there are more people on some of them so if I want to go to this island over there I think I'm just going to click on it and teleport. Oh, okay, I guess it won't let me do that from at this point. Um, so, but if it were not one of the Welcome Islands, I'd be able to do that. Okay, let me open my map again. Uh, so, let's see. Okay, show destination, show my location. Okay, let me pick another island. Let's zoom in. This, the world is massive. So I could go to somewhere from the Second Life website. So let me try that. Um,
Okay, I have my viewer open, so the destination guide. I'll go to that. And I'll pick a place, Academic Showcase. You can go anywhere, but I think I'll pick um, the First World War Poetry Digital Archive. View this destination. And if you haven't already joined, you could join and then land there. I'm going to view it on the map. And there are a lot of other destinations here. Visit this location. Okay, then you're... that destinations advanced So I'm going to go to the search and places. 